Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem, sort the matrix diagonally. So in this problem, given a matrix of size m cross n, and we have to sort this matrix in each diagonal. So here if we start, this is the one diagonal, so which has only one value. So same in the after sorting. Now this diagonal, another diagonal is starting from here and going here. So it has two element and it's two here and then one here. So if we sort it in the increasing order, so one will come here and two will. So in after that, it will become one and two. Similarly here, three, two, one, this will become one, two, three here and so on. So how we will solve this problem? As you can see, these arrows clearly giving a hint how we can solve. So we can start like, let's mark first. This is our first row, zero row, first row and second row. Now, this is our first column, zeroth column and this is first column and second column and this is third column. So how many maximum number of diagonal we will have? So as you can see, this is let's say called M and this is N. So it will be M plus N minus 1 as this one diagonal is shared in between both of them. So we will have these many diagonals. So what we can do, we will start processing like first this uh, all the diagonal start with the first column. So this is starting first column, zeroth column and going till here, then starting zeroth column going till here. Similarly, this is starting from the, I, we can include in the zeroth row or zeroth column both place, it doesn't matter. And then we can uh, uh, sort all the diagonal in the first row, zeroth row basically. We start from zeroth row. We will go till the end of this, basically cross any of the boundary, either the uh, number of rows or number of columns. So here similarly, so we will uh, first uh, process diagonal wise, take the all the elements of a diagonal in a priority queue that will be automatically sort the element in a uh, increasing order like we will use a min heap and then after that we will backfill these element here. So for uh, taking all the elements in the uh, priority queue for let's say for this diagonal. So for this diagonal as you can see our C is uh, start from 0 and r is from 1. So we will go up to c uh, less than or equal to number of columns which is n and r up to any one of them we will break first and we will keep going and add elements into the priority queue. We will use a priority queue here and add the element here. So the element automatically will sort and after that we will fill this element again in the same like starting from c0 and r from 1 and fill one by one in this way. So that's the one approach. You can pause the video and try it out code yourself. So for the code, I have already written down for this solution. So here, like what we did, we process from the last row and in the same first column always. So this is, uh, this should be the reverse basically. The column is like this one is here. First we processing here, then we are processing all first uh, row and then we are calling a helper method that will be used and we are adding all the elements into the priority queue first until the i is less than m and j less than n any one of them will break the loop and starting from r and c the initial r and row number and column number we pass to this method and then we are backfilling uh, element sorted element from the priority queue and pulling out until the priority queue has the element and fill this in the matrix. So this is the one approach. The time complexity of this solution as you can see here, first we are processing m element and then calling this method. This method is also calling uh, processing worst case n, n element and this sorting will take the time of like how many elements in a maximum element our diagonal particular diagonal will have. So this will be m cross n into log of uh, d. d is a length of that maximum length of our uh, diagonal. So the maximum length of diagonal will be a uh, d can be a minimum of m of n, any one of them, m comma n. So this is what the first solution. So now let's go again think as you can see for this diagonal if we go, so what is the row number? Row number is 0 for this element and column is 0. For this element row number is 1. So if we say 0 minus 0 is 0 then 1 minus 1 for second element, the element here, this is the row in 1 and column 1. So 1 minus 1 is also 0. Similarly, for this element, two, second row and second column. So 2 minus 2 is also 0. So all the element in the same diagonal 
is sharing the same value of their rowth index. Let's say rowth index is i minus j. Similarly, let's take another diagonal. So this one. So for this, uh, the row is zero and the column is the one zero one two. So this will come zero minus two. Similarly, for this will become one minus three, which is also minus two. So like that. So what we can do, we will store these uh, elements of uh, matrix into a hash map with the key as a i row minus column as a key. and the values we will fill into the priority queue all the values in so that we will get sorted and once we fill we created that hash map of prior key versus priority queue so here we will fill i minus j and then priority queue of all those elements so this will be stored in sorted order then after that we will backfill this so we let's start the code here so for coding part uh so we will first need a hash map so integer of and priority queue integer with priority queue as a value so here we also fill in the integer value so it is map let's say so now what we will do we will first straight from int i is equal to 0 i less than mat dot length and i plus plus then for in j is equal to 0 j less than mat of 0 so number of column is mat of 0 dot length j plus plus then we will add this element map dot compute if absent you can also like first use put if absent i am using compute if absent if i minus j is there then do nothing otherwise create a instance of priority queue so let's just copy paste it uh so new priority queue of this and then add the element which is mat of i comma j so in first pass we just iterate all the matrix element and fill the fill into the hash map of priority queue and second pass what we will do we just again iterate through and update add the values sorted uh, columns will be automatically from the map dot get i minus j dot poll we will poll the top element which is a minimum element and we will keep polling that and putting into the correct place and in the end we just return matrix so let's compile the code so code is getting compiled and we are getting correct answer let's submit the code and it is got accepted so the time complexity of this solution is also same as the previous one because we are iterating whole matrix which will take o of mn and then we are also adding all the elements of the diagonal each diagonal into a priority queue that will take a uh, log d time so that is why the time is time complexity and the space complexity is also o of mn as we are adding all the element into the map so if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching